Scream Queens Season 1, Episode 8, Thoughts. This episode is called Mommy Dearest. And we are gonna... Yeah, so, spoilers for these first four, first eight episodes and another episode that I absolutely love. So, to dive right in, yeah, the Dean is still hiding stuff. I quite like the thing with what, what? <laughs> and... The the um, yeah so the only yeah the only thing she gives Grace is the the name not even the social security number as Pete points out later and what slasher is complete without you know a a woman taking a shower or bath or something like that and they even do a couple of the the psycho shots like the the What's it called? The the shower head itself f directly on shot, and you see like a shadow figure coming from you know you see it through the the shower curtain kind of thing you know, and <laughs> I don't know how, but I don't we don't need to know how somehow she managed to not be in the shower but actually close by so that she could attack the, the red devil and she said you know I saw that movie 50 times and she she calls 911 and it's automated which is a great kind of just solid you know satire on how American systems are utterly failing to to protect and and actually take care of of regular citizens people who aren't rich although you know it might actually be worse if she did get a, a cop there anyway the the um, i really really love that the you know it, it says you know press this button for that and this button for that. now keep in mind 911 is for emergencies so if you just need a ride or McDonald's got your order wrong, please hang up. Wow. You know, it's it's one of those things where, oh wow, I guess someone must have done that since that that's that's very specific. McDonald's got your order wrong. And you know, we have a three on one fight, and some people would say that this particular fight Featuring Jamie Lee Curtis is more epic than anything we got in a Halloween movie. And I really love the the thing with, you know, she met a man and, you know, I taught him everything I knew about lovemaking and he taught me everything he knew about fighting and, you know, blood sport and just... I really love, like, she wipes the floor with these three. It's 100%, just, yeah. Which is just, it's it's such a great role reversal. Like, usually, the, the in a lot of slasher, you know, a lot of slasher scenes, it's like, you know, it's it's slim pickings for, the, or wait, other, yeah. It's easy for, for, the, for the slasher killer to take out, you know, the, they're making such bad decisions, and they're, you know, they, they don't fight back well, some of them don't fight back at all, and here we have, you know, a middle-aged woman beating up three people, with just, yeah, and I really, the, is that a mask of Justice Antonin Scalia, you know, and the the and and you know nod and and then she gets up close and as she's punching Scalia she points out the the you know yeah she says some some things that really you know yeah some of some of the most offensive things that Scalia has has said and done that just yeah that that was really yeah, very, very satisfying. <laughs> and Chanel is is having all the Chanel's show up so that the they can present the the evidence. 
and the I, I really appreciate it. like this episode has like three scenes of people saying no evidence you know and yeah just the the thing with you know the the those who pill together kill together no one in the history of all time has ever said those words and you know the the and uh, if you if you you know change around the the letters of Zayde Williams you know you what was it I slay Liz Raw who is Liz Raw I don't know but we have to find her and warn her because clearly Zayde is considering slaying her just amazingly terrible clues you know and and it's a great because it really it is quite ridiculous I, I don't know, not they're really a slasher thing but like there's a lot of horror stories where you know an anagram of of something or you know the the yeah if you if you swap yeah that that the that an anagram of the name of the person or the place or something you know Neil Gob is gonna be some clue that, that yeah it's just like Daddy always said if you want something done right you have to pay someone a lot of money to do it and <laughs> I really like how Denise got. To, to stay in in the house, you know, it's like, what, didn't you hear? And, you know, explains, oh, she went to the dean and said, you know, there's that girl's, you know, that, that girl's room is completely empty now, and I'll just, you know, I'll, you know, try not to think about the big blood stain on the floor. And the dean is like, yeah, yeah sure, well, whatever. I don't think she was ever at all against it. It was just like she's she's a little distracted, whatever, you know, just it's it is going to piss off Chanel Oberlin. I you there's no need for the hard sell. And the the thing with you know, um you know, no no, I mean, what are you doing right now? Oh, I'm just cooking. You know that a girl got her face melted off in that, right? Didn't you change the oil? I I wouldn't count on it. We don't really eat around here. I I I love like they they're doing a really good job continuing to make it really funny how they how how these sorority girls don't eat like first we just had a mention of oh you know they're eating uh, cotton balls and then we see them eat cotton balls and now you know just I I see to me what makes it so funny is that you're literally talking about something everyone needs to do to live like you know you have to take in sustenance you, you know if you're not eating you have to take some kind of you know, yeah, some kind of supplement, or you you're on an IV or something. But like, she she puts finger quotes on something that everyone needs to do to live. It's just you know, as if it's like, you know, we don't really have a you know, um, what's it called? Um, yeah. We, we don't really have a curfew. Sure, the rules say it, but nobody's going to hold it. But no, 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 we don't really eat. And the... You know, okay, imagine the most ridiculous number. Are you sure? Because I can get pretty ridiculous. One million. Really? One million is, is the most... You Three million. Just... You know, and, and at that point, you know, Chanel number three basically has to be, you know what, this is, it's never going to get much higher than that. Clearly, you know, when, when she's told you can go much higher, she just triples it. That's, that's really not, you know, yeah. Anyway, 
And then she talks about, you know, she would, you know, if, if you had that kind of money, what would you, what would you buy? Sandals. If you had a, if you had three million dollars, you'd buy sandals. No, 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 the the island, and then I would be a security guard on the, you know, dream big. Yikes! I, you know, I don't know. That that sounds pretty impossible to to reach, to to always be a security guard. But yeah, you know, I mean, if you don't think big, you'll never actually get there. So that's you know. And and she would also order around, and they managed to sneak in. You know, it's it's that thing of like, yeah, she's imitating a Jamaican accent, but you know, she's she's black herself, so she's allowed. Kind of the, it's yeah. And then oh right, yeah, some some of that was yeah. I like you know. You know, I've I've heard that smugness gives you wrinkles. Was I being smug because I thought I was just right? I have a soft spot for when someone says, you know, I'm I'm not, you know, when they when they acknowledge a thing and then immediately because that's that's about the most smug thing you could possibly say. I'm right. And and just yeah, um, amazing. It's like when you know a, a thought slime also did, you know the the um, um, let's see. It was in the video. It, it the video title is something about eating worms, I think, because it's a reference to. I guess I don't want to give away what movie it's a reference to because that's a spoiler. But anyway, yeah, you know he's talking about elevated horror, and he says, you know, I mean. Some people say I'm smug, so maybe it just appeals to me in a way that someone like you just wouldn't understand. And I really love the the hypothetical. You know, I I didn't sit down and count, but I think she may have used the word hypothetical like seven times. And just you know, like. Once you've entered a hypothetical, you don't have to keep saying hypothetical. You know, it's like, but but she's so scared that she's gonna that it's gonna be used against her because she's guilty of sin. So she's gonna keep saying hypothetical over and over. And oh right, yeah, this is when she gives the the name earlier. She said that she was so high on clonopin that. You can't hold her accountable. But yeah, she gets the, the name. Let's see. Yeah, and you know, Munch points out something that is kind of like all you, you know, you claim to be this crusader, but really you just want to know who your mommy is. You know, it, that is, yeah. And Jennifer returns from the mall and says you know I'm gonna I'm yeah states her intentions but it's of course just because she's frustrated and you know yeah says you know the girl there doesn't understand the meaning of 22 for the price of 20 you know so just yeah and you know Jennifer relates a story about Zayde about you know being real revenge and just uh, yeah and and I love when you know so so yeah they're st standing there talking about Zayde behind her back not even checking if maybe she's in the bathroom because her and Jennifer you know are, are roommates. And Denise, you know, and as so, so yes, the says, maybe you should check to see if someone's, someone can hear you if you're going to talk behind their back. And Denise is like, yeah, Jennifer. As if she wasn't doing the exact same thing. Just like, you know, because Zayde just said, I heard every word you two said, you know. So she knows that the reason Jennifer retold the story 
was because Denise came in and you know said tell you know what 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 evidence do you have that Zayde is the killer and then you know offered money for it so like <laughs> and the uh, yeah you know once again we have a a scene of a character on the show threatening at least one other person and I can't help but note, you know, by the end of this episode, we still don't, you know, there's clearly, you know, we know Boone is one of them, one of the Red Devils, and Gigi was the Antonin Scalia, but there's still one more person, and we don't know who that is. Could it be Zayde? Because she specifically says, you know, you better stay out of my way. You better stay away from me. That goes for both of you, you know, and not long after Jennifer is dead. So, let's see. Or is it Denise and she did it to frame her because the three of them are the only ones who knew about that threat. So, yeah, you know, very, very possible. And certainly Wes looks super guilty when he's like looking in the mirror and yeah and Jennifer records a vlog about candles and and you know we we have the classic slasher thing of like you know there's a killer why are you you know the do the door opens behind her and she doesn't even like turn around to make sure it's not the killer she's just like um hello i'm recording now the yeah and and she's stabbed right after she gives the the rating maybe red devil also wanted to make sure to know what did she rate that particular candle and let's see yeah the you know denise hemphill has called them all to you know to a meeting she's going to to, to share her um she, yeah, she's going to share the, uh, the the evidence. I got nothing. And uh, you know the the yeah she she talks them into a uh, an advance ten percent of the of the three million and you know Chanel number one is just like yeah whatever just you know call that bank. And talk to that person. She's the the one mainly in charge. Yeah, kind of thing. Just yeah. And Chanel is looking forward to the night of a thousand compliments, where she and Chad sit across from each other, and he gives her one thousand compliments, and she sits back and absorbs them. You know, and he can barely get through. Like, you know, he manages to say that her mouth is attractive. And then he's talking about, you know, oh, I wish you were kissing my abs. And then the, you know, she points out, that's not, that is, that's a compliment of yourself, Chad. Try again, you know. And, oh, the, the outfit looks great. Thank you. It would look even better on the floor. Just, and I love that he's not like just you know calmly like okay okay sure no. but like she she calls him out for it and he like freaks out I love Chad Radwell freaking out just like in the other episode it was the thing about you know um <clears throat> no you can't you can't lie because the game is truth or dare it's not truth dare or lie the rules are very simple you know and here he's like I'm trying, okay? Chanel, I'm really trying. <laughs> and she points out, it's it's a work in progress. And, you know, one of them smells something burning, and Jennifer's body has been posed with with candles. All of, that was really, really funny. And, yeah, and the, the just as suspected, the... the the woman painting patients and visitors, you know, she had two paintings, she made two paintings of Gigi. And I love that they're just, like, just right there, too. She didn't have to, like, look for a long time or something. 
it, which I guess points out that not that many people come to visit and there are not that many new patients like a lot of the patients have just been there for a really long time which is very sad and probably true you know mental health care in America is a yeah really a big problem and turns out there were two babies one boy one girl and to to commemorate Jennifer they play eternal flame wicks up you know just that was that was really really funny and the the thing with you know Jennifer or as she was more commonly known that weird girl with the camel fish you know and the just yeah I really love that, you know, the thing Chanel, you know, Chanel is very upset that this, you know, yeah, that the, the, you know, if, if the university shuts down, she won't be able to have any more cool parties where people either almost or do die. She won't be as popular, and Chad Radwell will dump her. You know, that legitimately still is the, the thing that she's passionate about is just, yeah. And turns out that she called Scotland Yard. And apparently both actors... Real... Both actors have Dan as their first name. I don't know if they're like... Some kind of duo, or it was just they just thought it was funny. Oh, one of them played Scar in the Broadway. Yeah, one of them was on Game of Thrones. I am not even gonna try to pronounce that name. Um, but but yeah, the the um, they explain. You know, we're here because you said that you have information about a threat to the life of this duchess. You know, and then she says, I will kill the duchess if you don't help me. You don't seem to understand. I'm rich. I'm stupid rich. Let's see. And I, I, and, and we have gotten to the the single best line in this entire show so far I don't have to understand anything I'm American oh, uh, yeah I'm American I don't have to understand anything <clears throat> let's see and Grace confronts Gigi, and the the painting, you know, she and she's like, does this mean you want me and your dad to have children? Because that is so sweet. Just, wow. And, you know, my fiancé, fiancé, oh, didn't he say, you know, holds up the, what finger does that ring go on? And... Yeah, you know, it is like, um, this really isn't evidence, <laughs> just, you know, a person painted Gigi twice, you know, that, that really, that's not gonna hold up in court, you know. And the, <laughs> the Scotland Yard guys return to Chanel, and <laughs> they didn't find anything on Grace. They did find some stuff on L Libby, the, the, the uh, Liddy, you know, Chanel number no. five. She's in what we know, it, know as the deep web. And she's in several chat rooms, including one entitled, Does anyone want to poison Chanel Oberlin with me? You know, and and she's like, I, I don't care. I asked you f to implicate Grace. You know, and the I, I really could you stop peppering your language with the word indeed. Let's see, and you know, Grace talks to Wes, 
and ex you know, oh, we were just watching The Price is Right. She said, you know, she wants to, you know, it's it's kind of like it's the 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 nightmare thing of like, oh, you know, first first she leaves the toothbrush and you know, the the. <laughs> the the next you know next thing you know she's completely changed your life you know he's just oh you know I just want to edit you know just this place needs a woman's touch you know cramp away which is a wonderful thing to say to a woman and then she came home with an engagement ring and we get the the you know so I just thought if I played along, we would have mind-blowing sex, and I was right. Dad? Yeah, and, and she gets all this information about her real mother. Let's see. The, you know, she was the waterfall. Waterfalls is my jam, girl. And, you know, she was going to become the... Oh, right, right, yeah, then we... Wait, was that when she talked? Uh, yeah, I don't remember all of the order here. Yeah, I, I didn't write it down, and I don't remember the order, but I did like when, you know, Denise is apparently wearing Chanel Number no. Five's clothes, and we have another Chanel Number no. 5, like... This is unacceptable. You know, that's also very, very funny. Like, I, I don't know enough about Abby Breslin. I've, I've seen a couple of other things that she's in, but I don't know if they they wrote the role and, and it was like, okay, this is perfect for her, or if she just did a really great job at the audition or what. But, yeah, she, her, her meltdowns are, are great. And the, the thing with, you know... I don't know what material your G-strings are made of, but it feels like my butt is being flossed by angels, so thank you. And, you know, Chanel number one is like, nobody cares, Chanel number five. Your underwear is probably just happy to finally be in the presence of human genitalia. But, but yeah, the, the, um, you know, the, the, um, Bethany Stevens, yeah, was, you know, she she ran on the platform of making waterfalls, the the Kappa Kappa Tau, what was it, like, theme song or something, something like that, you know. And, yeah, they get into the, the criminal record. Let's see. Yeah, and Denise pressures... Um, Chanel into apologizing by saying that otherwise I will steal your man. And you know, we learn the the fire the fire you know, she she died in a fiery car crash and and the thing with you know, oh, she was arrested for driving drunk with a baby um the baby on her lap, driving drunk with a baby on the roof. Wow, that's that's a special kind of. I'm just kind of impressed that the baby stayed on. Honestly, like I guess, very powerful tiny little fingers, or or maybe duct taped to the the top or or something. But just yeah, you know. So our house didn't burn down. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I burned our house down. You know. I committed arson. That's how much I loved her. You know, to to cover up the you know, yeah, the the reality of the, yeah. And, you know, the, the Chanel wants to apologize to Grace and brings the two cups of coffee and, you know, puts one in front of Grace and one in front of herself and Grace swaps out the cup, cups, you know, really, that's how little you trust me? No, this is how little I trust you. And she puts the cups next, to, you know, it was like, no, 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 I'm sure you spit in both of these, just to be sure, you know. And she calls her daughter of Sam and and describes her siblings 
just <laughs> you know she she was seen in the the well, yeah one of them was seen as an embarrassment to the family after joining the Peace Corps. You and Chanel was her mother's perfect angel. You know she was an expert at firing nannies and destroying people's self-confidence which for some reason they don't give out grades for though they should but the worst part was that she wouldn't let Chanel go to her own high school graduation because she had a zit and said that she would embarrass the the family and I love that that gets like a dramatic flashback you know she's lying there and you, you see the zit she's like, ah! and it's the the yeah you know she's like okay I I forgive you and you know takes that I actually did spit in that one <laughs> and the yeah the the um, we see Boone incognito he looks you know and everyone's like, I think that's Joaquin Phoenix you know I loved you in Gladiator and he's he's fine you know writing you know. Um, autographs as Joaquin Phoenix and you know pumping weights you know I can't live like this all I do is work out and kill people and you know talks to yeah we yeah if we find out that Gigi was the one in the Anthony Scalia costume which Boone points out is destroying our brand and whoever the the third killer is that he's talking to, he tells, we have to kill Gigi, which is just, yeah, it's, it's wild how much, like, it really is, <laughs> you know, we still, we still actually don't know if the person Gigi was talking to the other times, if that was Boone, because there was once where she talked to, you know, whoever she was talking to, she was very, like actually I guess it might have been yeah cuz yeah she one of the when she just talked to the red devil face to face she said you have to get him back on you know talk to him he he made a mistake you know and then the other time she was on the phone and she was directly complaining to to one so I guess it was the the two different ones but yeah it's not clear yet if Boone is the one that she's disappointed in or not, but just, yeah, um, another amazing episode, I, I, I'm always looking forward to the, the next episode of this show, I'm really, really glad that there's gonna be a third season, um, yeah, the, um, Right, uh, to, uh, briefly on the special effects, I think they did a good job on the the posed body of Jennifer. I'm not 100% certain if that was the actress and they just did, like, makeup and, and such, or if they actually built... But but either way, it, it looked great. You know, it's a, it's a great image of the, you know, the... She's got like a, a candle on her head, and it's like you know the the. I actually have no idea what y'all call that in English. Um, yeah, the 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 material is like melting down her face, kind of thing, you know. And yeah, just really really great stuff. I think that is everything that I had. Uh, but but yeah, really really great, and looking forward to the next one. I intend to record a vlog about the movie Saturday, so I hope to catch you then. Bye.